worth just getting that early like mask of madness for progression. You might still go like mask of madness, but then go for the BKB after instead of like. And DJ does have a TP, so you either rotate one plus one hero towards top lane or DJ TP. Okay, he's going to keep bottom lane. Bottom lane is the attack. Nice down, Mahoshka. Oh, he's still alive. No, he's not. DJ will come in. The void do the job. They've still got the Hadouken creep ready in one second time. He's body blocking up TJ, making it difficult to get away, allowing Stanley the time to rotate down to get the Dream Call follow up orb. So, a two for one trade off. And looks like first blood. There's that glimpse into Rocket Barrage. We're talking about Ohio. Had one thing cast up his sleeve, and now he's actually going to turn to Fire Fire. He'll take the kill. He almost got killed. He's actually going to get it with a follow up time from 3 4 3. He turns progression. Like, and Ohio is going to trigger him? regen. Firefly up. Oh, he's he's uh, now going to do it. There's your hex. 3 4 3 does 11 on the Babel, which will mean an extra two sticky napalm charges and Ramsey's even flame break back in again and he'll burn out. That is now two very quick deaths, but at the same time, the invoker was picked off by a link for that fight. Yeah. And with a hero like Jericho, I feel he's having that really timely Ooh, blue this goes a long way. This this wrap around. He did an turn on the darkness, so they won't even see it coming in net. He's ready to fight, he winds himself up, and now Ramsey gets destroyed. The Evoker Thunstrike will do the work, the Hexen 343 allows to get control, and Net will find that kill as well. The Scandal, gotta be careful, Mamoshka wants to do a little bit more damage than Impetus Net. Oh, they get the Doom oh. the Denial! The Doom actually allowed DJ to take the kill away from them. The T1 tower on the top lane will still belong here to Team Empire, unless DJ's gonna go. No. no. Okay, he's gonna lose his life for that attempted denial. But uh, should lose his life for that. Will lose his life for the attempted denial. Yep, but Invoker, Invoker. They just got onto the Disruptor. Yeah, and their next smoke is on in 10 minutes, so uh, they have to make it hard. Bottom lane, this is an easier kill when our fight's a little bit too far out. Sunstrike, it's not earlier damage. They're gonna find that kickoff with Dream Call, okay? It's not gonna do the work. Scanner wanted it to do the drop rolling, we throw on out, but he now could not hold them in. It's not a guaranteed controller. Even the glimpse back over from mid morning, he's a little bit of space, turns himself around onto the on Bosca. And King Al's gonna drop, mid one will survive. Man, Ohio even bottling the info I like, need to run this. So this means that Roche up along, Fnatic with no way to get my freaking reinforcements. Yeah, and I agree with Kobe as well. I think that Afterlife in the last fight was just way, he was just way too far for our position. Like, he should have killed it. Oh, Fnatic just didn't wait long enough. No. Yes, Ohio's still in a pretty Radiant's good position. Yes, smoke ran out. He's gonna be randomly playing Lasso, Scandal, right there behind him. However, and then he comes into the middle of the front wall. He's gonna get doomed as well. The flame break starts to burn on top of Team Empire and Net. Well, he's taken through a lot of this. Remember, he's got the Aegis so Immortal. So even if he dies right now, what really about him being lost? The puck is down, the Doom will join him, and the stun too short to be 3 4 3. Look at the difference in net worth. He got 9.5k over on the Invoker to the 5.9k. Uh, oh, the Doom Bringer, that's a difference. Now, well, Finger of Death drops that deck very, very quickly. Oh, hi, the Hartley has controlled him. Now, Scandal. Well, he'll actually have a nice little combination here. The Dream Call into the call down the line. The Dream the Lion. The Dream Call is down, but Ned just turns on the Enrage. Takes up after Afterlife. He can't do it anymore. Scan back into the fight. And the Impetus damage, that's long enough. Ned will take a fall. You still have this pesky Invoker. I feel like the other items, like I mentioned, the Agalins, the Force Stuff and the Gem, these are the three most important items that they want to get on the Night Stalker and the Bat. <laughs> that yeah, I agree with you. I mean, just looking at Empire's vision right now, they uh, they have whoops. complete control. Well, a lot of that goes back to they've got complete control of this Radiant Jungle now with in terms of wards, so that's something that the Gem on Bat Rider can at least help deal with. X, they're going after Afterlife, but you don't have yourself a Finger of Death, so there's no burst damage against the Doombringer. Plus, he's got 1600 lives. Triggers off the drop and 343. Maposhka right behind him, impetus damage galore. You'll need one more, and that's it. Oh. Hadouken almost trying to steal it there from Afterlife, not gonna happen. Second too early, maybe he realizes what's also happening. So he's just on the run, oh. and there's your blink. He'll get away from Scandal, they'll actually send through uh, Dream Dreamcoil, and the damage, okay, they use Glimpse. He probably would have he died anyway to the Dreamcoil Dragon. Game. All the last few pickoffs that happened around the area. Oh, you'll set this actually gonna bring the Batrider position where you can glimpse it back just far enough. The scandal could try and make a play. TP out, there's no dream coil, but they have more than enough damage to get the kill on the Batrider. Or play split up, try and get your farm, finish these core items, but you can't be getting picked off as you do so. But with Empire's fantastic vision, they're fine to pick off. Well, 343, Sunstrike, right on top of Empties. And this creates a lot more stuff. 
Three four three. However, can get glimpsed back in again. He does have his son of Val. Mm, okay, no, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, he tries it again. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Ambitious. <laughs> He's okay with that. Stalker has to give the Batrider the vision. Here they come. So the vision inside the pit. They see everything. Batrider. He goes for Ramsey. Stalker goes down, but already Ramsey. He's getting fully clipped up by Ohio. And Arthurlife. He got pushed up on the hillside. He can't wear these. Maybe he can throw a couple of pebbles down there. He zoomed up. Never. But there's no follow through. So you've actually got two heroes. He's still burning inside the firefight. It's not enough damage. Or is it? With a flame break. Yeah. Oh he's going to burn out. They're oh taking God. out three heroes of Team Empire. Fnatic will make it four as the Enchantress runs away. But net back into it. Earth will end the unstoppable streak and leaving the. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Roshan. Scandal. It looks like he's trying to go for a bit of a bomb fight. Uh, Roshan just got killed by the dark. Yeah. He got the last. He kill. actually oh. killed it with the orb. So, Fnatic only have one observer of their own. <laughs> They've got a nice shot. Yeah, yeah, DJ is here. Three, four, three. Mosca, primary target. The second pass, pushing it down, but not down far enough. And then PKB as well as Red going to work. Afterlife. Taking the fall pretty quickly. Net needs a little bit more damage. The seven stacks will lose the Aegis the Immortal. While the Gyro on the path, they're picking up the rest of Fnatic on the back line. The Blink Away will be coming out from there. And maybe now he'll try and mow down Afterlife. He'll get it as well, but now completely isolated underneath the Empire lineup. And Fnatic is it's another one of the fights where the sw other things that Fnatic needs to wait for before they make their next big move. Oh. They find an opening. And Ohio's gonna jump. Try to boot, drag it back a little bit further into the Sun Strike. And they have, they have enough damage. That is actually one tankier enchantress. Ned's gonna jump him now and and do the work. So they will kill off Roshan. This is Aegis and Cheese. Mano gonna find a little bit of space. Pull down, goes to Dark. Aegis will the end of Ned. Cheese, they get into the hands of Ramsey. He's also got the butterfly, but again, Ohio trying to clip him and he's going to be able to do it. BKB or not, he's stuck up there. And now he'll pick up, well, actually. Yep, yep, they'll take out the line. Ursa not too healthy. First, the XC model. Sorry, it's XCP. Can't get out. Uh, that's the problem. He's gonna drop the cheese. He's out. So someone can give him a TP <laughs> troll. <laughs> so he... Wow. Help me with the damage. Good advice, Rip. Lift. Lift. Yep, there it goes. Lift on the Invoker. Yule said he doesn't cancel that one. It's like he's gonna self Yule. Uh, and he can't invoke anything to get himself out of that fight. So, oh my god. Is Empire actually gonna to be a tier 2 tower? If they can get the buyback from the Invoker and delay that side device of his, might be even better unless that's meant to be a defensive Lincoln Seer. DJ caught out. They don't have glimpse because the sounds are broken down as DJ then he gets locked in time. He, he tried to drop jam on the high ground to someone else or Fnatic. Here comes Fnatic. Oh, this has to work. Oh, there's all five heroes of Empire. They're ready. They're waiting. That rise in the middle. Get the Slink Last Dude. Dragging over Ramsey. Just net. No support over on the puck. They already got the thrust down with the fingers. Get the take the Dark Hunter as well. He couldn't get the cheese up in time. And Afterlife is slowed down by the ice wall of the Invoker. They just can't work. They have to back out. There's a swing of high back. They're going to lose their Rex. Yep. I, bet uh, it's, I, I guess really the call. The I guess the call is not to buy that. You got no drink call. Like okay, King Arrow is the most exposed. The impetus damage on the mid line should drop down to half life. And just okay, yes, yeah, they're gonna try to avoid the buyback. Zooms up in three seconds time. They don't have fortification still, so the rain track will fall. And with a glimpse on the DJ, Fnatic may be forced to fight. DJ is just gonna try and TP out. Not gonna happen with total play there. So DJ will be the sacrifice. Well, I kinda and they keep the melee racks alive. Yeah, I kind of expected them to lose to me. But there's no stun to keep them in range of the EMP. Oh, they see the bat. Gonna get him. There's your doom. Free trial as well. Ohio. Oh, he'll go down. And at the same time. Okay. Wow. That invoker just, just wrecked the destroyer. Don't see the opening and now Ohio. Oh, Doom. Afterlife is probably the only one they can reach here. And there it is. Blink, last two, but the three pop. Gonna keep Ohio actually absolutely nowhere. He's got his BKB up. The four stars him out right now. Actually, that is an Aghanim's ulti from the puck. And Ohio's gonna go down because when he got stunned, and he's trying to put himself out of here. That extended damage. There's not a stop this, but candle. Two are up. There's gonna have to buy back out from the Doombringer, but that damage is still there from the Enchantress, so he just uses the rest of his teammates as human shield for many months. 
They're gonna try and steal the Roshan. Three for three. He can actually blink it through almost ravaged right now. He's to catch out three heroes. The corner of the way from Deputy Blast Finger gets the crush up. He clips and will burn to the medium. But Roshan, 600 life. The Sunstrike will hit for Roshan. It's long to end by another e another tornado up by mid one. As the Ember controls, and he does. Put down the ice wall. Three for three. Burns the Aegis if you want to, which is the hands of the Enchantress. The last two brandies put him up on the hillside. So boy can, he'll actually consume the cheese. But be stuck on a very advanced spot. Ah, like so low on the floor, Spear is still in there. To finish the jump, Ramsey, where do you go? Like you're locked in here. DJ still fighting over on the side, but Ramsey just has to burn. A double kill will be there for mid one. Three heroes down for Ramsey himself in opening. Scandal was the closest thing he was going to get. The Observer will actually see him going in. He's got Blink off cooldown, and he blinks and instantly attacks with the intention of Sunstrike. It's going to be enough to get the kill. This will open up the mid racks, and they can go for any other lane, but no tier 2 towers up an Empire to say they buy back. They need to defend this, but they're out of position. The Dark of the has the PKP up, but then go over him. Randy, the damage out for even fourth off out the line will go down to Dark Up. Good up the flag and a burst damage. The net will die underneath the team on towers. A little bit too deep there. He needs to learn. Oh, against Night Stalker. Mechanic Glimmer Cape disrupted Glimmer Cape himself to get back into the base. So Ohio is on the hunt with an Ace Rune. Gonna get Rune up as well as Dream Call. They'll take the stun and then see if they can push Ohio far enough away to survive. But DJ locked inside that disruptor ulti. They get a loose too. Great, great initiation from Afterlife. Did Empire ever get the initiation in these fights? <laughs> they got it. They got the rack. Objective achieved. That's what, that's what it's all about. A fight where Empire gets a jump is a fight Empire will win every single time. Like, getting a Doom on the bat right before he lassos, that just shouldn't happen if you're a fanatic. That is so ballsy if they can do it. DJ's gonna give it to him. So they can see it. BKB, trigger the Lincoln Spear. And, well, no lasso. Too much oh. damage. He'll take the foot as well for the Dream Call. The BKB is one off. And Ohio's gonna go down. He did soak up the Doom as well. Just because, like, Ohio's the one initiating and he keeps soaking up Doom. He keeps soaking up different abilities. But it looks like they're going to give it to that. Looks like Diego's immortal and DJ holds on to the cheese. Reveals the smoke uh, re and instantly into darkness. Yep. They still see uh, Disruptor, Silence, Void. Can they get a pick off? I need to see. Okay. With a four thumb up, they need to let the last two go off. And they got Randy. Drag back handle. He's looking for more. The Deathly Blast making a typical Randy star of damn low break. Mithia, keep it in mind. He turns on the Satanic. Instantly up in life. The damage is ridiculous. DJ almost down to just the impetus as well. Sets back into the fighting world. He wants Randy, but he will not get it. Oh my god. Oh boy, the damage is huge, but you still really had such a big advantage in the game. And what do you really lose here if you're fanatic? Like, Empire is still being very tentative about pushing up. The tornado just. Okay, didn't actually pick up most of the three wave, but the meatball should be able to do a lot of that work. And if you're Empire, you are scared of the bat right buy back. You, okay, so it's on cool then, never mind. So yeah, it's just the Earth who's got it currently. But they don't know this. And now, well, oh, silence from Scandal. Jumping on top of TJ, he'll take the stun, and then 3-4-3 three, three, jumps in, finger of death, Ramsey! He's still with the Rapier, and it's down! It's on the deck, somebody pick it up, it's still on the ground, net! Oh boy, where is it? He's leaving it. They don't know, they're out there, we'll fight it in a moment. Night Stalker has Rapier, okay, so TJ's got the damage. Empire has it all gone horribly, horribly wrong. The damage from the intent is almost killing up mid one for DJ. He's pumping out almost 600 a pop. And the intent is hides the tree line. I think she dies from the tall even. Yep, she does. Hits the ground. Gems come back the way of Empire. I can't blame you for that. Though. Are they going to go for this? Like, they may be considering the GG push. Oh yeah, she, uh, the creep can push up to mid and he goes for something else. Afterlife, oh, we caught out. DJ, sounds for disruptor. He does not want to have that fall down. Uh, and they're going to get the kill. And goodbye, Doombringer. Buyback is off cooldown. There is life for this fight, so... Uh, life is also the not there. I'm just going to flag that one too. They're, they're missing one of their big heavy disables. And Empire, well, fortifications down. Now they're going to drop the wall and the ulti over on mid one. Support moving forward as they get the Dream Soul off as well. Mid one's not looking too healthy. He's going to die. And Ramsey's only BKB and he had anything here. But the rest of Empire is ready to attack on the bot lane. It's like, it's like they are looking for a pickoff. 
just to create space and uh, say hello to your rapier. Goes through BKB and the Enchantress is a ma major attack, also goes through BKB. It's also quite Randy. Jumps out. Secondary. Rapier to be given over by Randy. is down. The Rapier is on the deck. Pick up a second one, why don't you? Scandal's gonna pick up any sort of. It's in his hands right now. Net's in a little bit of trouble. Doomed up, but Arfax like, being pushed out. Mid one's doing his work, and Net, the storm, not hot enough to kill him off. Three fourths being attempted to denial, but really, Empire, you've lost too much now. They're taking out the top racks. They can have a crack at it. This is the yours on the deck. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That was so puck could at least get the rapier back over again to the gyrocopter, but he can't buy back. So top racks will go down. Roshan becomes available. It's at, well worth At least you want to force the buyback. Yeah, force the buyback. Yeah. On Fnatic side, you have buybacks yourself to fall back on it. They're just pushing this very cautiously. Ford Spirit's in front. Half Life. Jump forward. There's a BKB to go. Ohio needs a good target. Finger of Death already gone on Half Life. Dropping him down to one of his life. Let's break some of targets. But the damage to CJ is still so huge. You've lost your boot for him. Scandal will join him as well as the afterlife. Faceship will only delay the inevitable as TJ, he's just munching on everyone. He'll move over towards Scandal. The sun's there, but there it is. Good game, ball blade. Fnatic will 2-0 up Team Empire. And it looks like White Watch is, is the name of the game here in our primary stream with the ESL1 Vanilla. A lot of long, close games, so it's crazy to think like all two zeros, but none of this series felt like they were clear cut. Even like looking at like Liquid versus Wings, for example, just before this was like Wings really tested them. Every single series today has been neck and neck and Fnatic into the semi-finals. Yeah. Really great showing from them. So they get themselves a wonderful day off. Empire will go into the burner, having to play in one of the last two series tomorrow night. Of course, for all that information, you uh you can check out all your wonderful